going on, people? I was checking out Polite, his video, man. And he really didn't... Listen, Polite, let me, let me explain something to you, bro. It's not the people coming at you. Of course, you're going to have your haters out there. But people just want to know if you did it, if you didn't do it. I don't think your lawyer didn't tell you not to say that you didn't do it. You know, it's no thing for you to just say, look, it's a lie. I didn't do it. It's false information, right? Now, of course, there are going to be people that's going to say, oh, you can say anything and you're just saying that to get out of it. You're lying. It's going to be that way, bro. That's all people want to know. Everybody's not coming at you because they hate you, man. I don't hate you, right? But I listen to you. And the more I listen to you, I'm thinking to myself, like, this brother got some very serious charges. And for him to have serious charges, maybe you're trying to play it off, trying to make it appear that you're not worried, but I see a bit of worriedness in you, right? It's okay to be worried, man. I would be worried if I had those type of charges brought up against me, whether you did it or not, because we know how the system can trap you. If the system wants you guilty, you're going to be guilty. But listening to you and listening to how sure you are that you're gonna be exonerated. The thought came to my mind that there's two ways that you would get out of this. Now, we heard that there's six stains of your DNA and I have a sister that's in the legal field and she has even said that she's seen cases where the evidence was all there. The person was guilty, but yet according to the system, they knew how to manipulate the system to get them out of there. There's two ways that polite could get out of this situation. The first situation is instill fear in that sister. Put fear in her, so much fear and threats to the point where she would retract her statement and say it was false or the girl say, I lied. They can do that, but yet the DNA is still there. So she can say that she lied and she manipulated that. The other way that he can get out of that is if he offer her some type of deal. He could tell his attorney, make it go away. I just want it to go away. I'm willing to pay whatever price that she asked for. I just want it to go away. And then you pay her under the table. So if you instill fear or if you pay for this case to go away, other than that, I think you're gonna be charged, brother. You're gonna be doing some prison time, especially if there's DNA. Of course, we all don't know what's really going on, bro. We don't know the facts. We don't know, but you know. So those are the two ways that Polite can get out of this is if he pay his way out, take a make a deal with her, or if he put so much fear in her that she would retract her statement. See, people like polite man you know you got friends you know you used to be a crip i think you were and so you got people that can kind of put fear in them scare the family the children you know if you testify this is going to happen to you or this is going to happen to your child and then they say hey, i lied you know i just came up with it i had something against him and i just wanted to lie so it's all a lie it's not true and then possibly it can go away. But if there's DNA samples, you gotta own this, bruh. So listen, on the bottom, you see this shirt, musty, stinks so good. This is the back of it, check it out. That's the back of this shirt right here. So just click on the link in the bottom, you can have this shirt. There's a lot of other shirts on Teespring, but I kinda like this shirt, man, musty. And you can make it, the musty can be anything you want. If you smoke weed, you could say it's musty, stinks so good, right? Whatever it is, if you work out in the gym, you know, you sweat so hard, you become musty, but the results are good, stinks so good. 
So feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe to next time. I'm fearless.